In an act of defiance that's either principled or quite pointless, Roland Burris traveled to Washington today. He's pressing the claim that he's already the new senator from Illinois. I am the magic man. <laughs> and daring Senate Democrats not to seat him. This is all politics and theater, but I am the junior, junior senator according to every law book in the nation. And not just according to law, on Sunday, Burris claimed an endorsement from on high. The Lord put his hands on the governor and said, this is the person that has to go to Washington. Maybe, but he won't be sworn in when the Senate takes office tomorrow. Democrats plan to reject anyone appointed by Governor Blagojevich. I'm ready to go to Washington. In Minnesota, Democrat Al Franken was finally declared the winner over Republican Norm Coleman by 225 votes out of 3 million cast. But Franken also won't be seated on Tuesday. Coleman is appealing to the state Supreme Court, and Republicans don't want Franken sworn in with a lawsuit pending. Under Minnesota law, uh, an election certificate does not issue until litigation has been concluded. Which means the new Senate for now will only have a 57 to 41 Democratic voting majority, not the 59 votes Democrats hope to have locked down. Even more drama is expected tomorrow when Roland Burris comes to the Senate expecting to be sworn in. Senate Democrats have said, don't bother, stay tuned. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Capitol Hill.